I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, y'all, my sister actually found this wig in my drawer. She was like, you got another wig, you got another wig, and she found it. And I was like, oh. I did want a short wig, so I was about to buy one, but when she found this, I was like, I could just cut this. I didn't even know I had it anyway, so I could just cut this. So that's what this video is, me cutting and styling this hair. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Okay, Flavor Squad, I am not by any means a hairstylist when it comes to weave. I probably don't know what I'm doing. 50% of the time so I have never cut hair before but I was like I really wanted some short hair so I'm just doing what I see the other people do when they cut their hair you know I'm just cutting down in a slant and I'm gonna do that all around the wig I'm also gonna use the green tool to like shave some of the hair I guess I don't know girl I was just trying to do something honestly it came out cute so uh I guess that's a good sign <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just going around the hair and cutting it shorter, but in a slant. I'm not trying to give it a blunt cut at all. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. taking this green tool and kind of trying to shape the hair to my face it's kind of hard to do on the mannequin so I did have to go back in once I put the wig on myself to shape my face but yeah that's what I'm trying to do and trying to give it some layers so I would do like the top and then the bottom to give some layers girl listen that's what the people say so that's what I'm doing <laughs> Okay, so at this point, that was all the cutting I think I wanted to do. So I'm just showing you guys how it's looking so far. It's not looking blunt, which is what I wanted. And it's shorter than it was. It wasn't as short as I wanted, but I was a little too scared. You know, once you cut it, it's gone. So, yeah. Now I'm going to spray this setting spray on the hair just before I start curling. I actually like the motion setting spray better then this setting spray I uh, this was something new I got so that's why I was just trying it out but I actually like the motions brand better okay now it's time to curl the hair and one thing I did know that I wanted was to curl away from my face and that really didn't matter in the back as much as it did in the front but I just wanted to keep it consistent all around so that's what you see me doing Like I said, I'm not a hairstylist by any means, so I definitely had to go back and recurl certain parts because I just, uh, they were not coming out right. <laughs> so I had to go back and recurl certain parts, but once I got it the way I wanted it to be, I'm gonna take the silver pins and just pin them up, so pin curls basically, and then I've sprayed them with the setting spray.
Okay, so right now it's giving very much baby doll, and that's not what we're trying to give. So I wanted to go through and comb some of those curls out just to shape it the way that I wanted it to be. Now I'm gonna go in with my Nairobi mousse and I'm just gonna lay it on top and go over it with my hot comb. I'm also gonna use a wax stick just to get it as flat as possible so we don't have any flyaways. So like I said, I did want to go in and cut a little bit more once I actually put the wig on so I can shape it to my actual face and not the mannequin. So that's what I'm doing here, just trying to get it how I like it. At this point, that's pretty much it and I'm feeling myself, honey, okay? I'm feeling it. It looks really different. It's different for me, but I like it. Okay, so the very last thing I'm gonna do is add concealer into my part. I'm using the color Warm Toast, I believe. So I'm just going down my part and also in front of my hairline, like the front hairline area where the closure is, I'm just doing those areas. And I suggest doing that so you can hide that lace as best as possible. I wasn't gluing this down, so I needed to hide that lace, honey. That concealer works wonders, baby. Okay, Flavor Squad, so this is how my hair turned out. I think it's super cute. It's a little different for me. I'm usually like longer hair, maybe straight curls here and there, but this is like grown woman. I'll probably add a little baby hair or something, like once I actually glue it down. Right now it's not glued down. I'm not gonna glue it down. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what I did wrong because, baby, y'all know I'm not a hairstylist. Natural hair I can do, but the weave and all that, that's not my realm. So, y'all let me know down in the comments if you guys like this video. Let me know if anything different I should do. And, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So, may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.